Hello, my name is Abel Verweg. I'm a product marketing manager at Mendix and I'm uh, currently working from home, as you can see. Uh, hopefully you are as well. Uh, well, working from home has some advantages. So for example, you can have an uh, intelligent background uh, behind you. Uh, on the other hand, it also creates a lot of pressure for businesses. For example, um, signing contracts is difficult now in our new paperless society. Uh, luckily with Mendix, you can easily implement uh, solutions such as DocuSign to create a very uh, rich customer experience uh, very quickly. Uh, today I have Koos Riesmeijer, senior consultant at Expert Services, who already implemented this in an app before the whole situation started. Koos, can you show us a little bit on what you made? Yeah, yeah, that's uh, exactly what I'm going to do. Actually, what we built is we uh, made an onboarding application to make the experience of new employees of Mendix uh, basically make it better. Uh, in that onboarding application, what we're doing is we're letting people uh, input some of their personal information, uh, but also they need to sign a couple of legally binding documents. And we're going to make that experience uh, yeah, as easy as possible. For that, we chose to use DocuSign. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. Cool. So I'm going to share my screen now. Awesome. So does the thing we're going to see now, that's what you get when you enter our company or as a new employee. Yeah, so yeah, this is actually what you're going to see if you uh, enter Mendix as a new employee. Cool. It's a little bit of welcome text. And then uh, we're going to say start onboarding. We're going to be able to fill in some information. So I'm just going to fill in my first and last name. Yeah. Um, yeah, going to skip some other fields because uh, that's going to be boring for you guys. I'm going to say next. I'm going to come to the interesting part. So now we're at the part where we're going to sign some doc documents. Uh, we're doing the signing of documents in DocuSign because that's actually what makes it legally binding. Um, it's important that the user is authenticated correctly uh, in your application because the information of the user is going to be passed to DocuSign. So the DocuSign knows uh, who is actually there signing that document. I'm going to click sign documents right now. And what it does is it's taking me to the DocuSign system. Cool. So the user doesn't have to go to another application on another tool to be able to continue his journey. Yeah, that's right. So we're basically embedding DocuSign into our system to make the experience better. Awesome. Um, well, what you see here is uh, this is a tax form, a Dutch tax form, uh, something everybody needs to uh, submit for whatever new employer you're, they're going to work at. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to fill in some required fields. So that's a possibility uh, that DocuSign gives. It, you're able to upload templates, uh, define whatever fields are required. Cool. I'm just going to put some information so here. So as this is the actual document uh, we're using within Mendix, there's some validation. That's right. This that's is uh, But in essence, this can be any type of document, right? I mean, this is a Dutch tax form but it can also be a contract for a mortgage or in a sales deal. Can you also add multiple documents to sign at once? Yeah, so DocuSign has a lot of applications, right? And um, yeah, what you would do typically in such an onboarding procedure is there's a number of documents that you want to sign. Yeah. And uh, basically in, in, uh, in the call to DocuSign from your application, you're gonna tell them who is gonna sign and what do they need to sign. And those can also be multiple documents. So let's say they also need a tax form and they also need to sign some kind of NDA. You can yeah. just add that. That's no problem. Perfect. So here I filled in some information. I'm going to say sign. As you can see, uh, automatically some kind of signature appears. It's even possible to uh, draw your own signature. And as you're authenticated in your system, uh, it's going to be legally binding. Uh, as soon as you've done that, what you can do is you're just going to say finish. And DocuSign will take you back to where you were in your own system. So here you can just add a little bit of logic. For instance, let's say you're in uh, some kind of process. You can increase the progress percentage um, and say, yes, indeed, you signed the documents. Make it possible to look at the documents in DocuSign as well as maybe view the documents in the app itself. I made sure that the application was automatically downloaded, the signed documents. So people can download them for their own reference. Awesome. And is it also, for example, possible to send an email to your customer or your new employee? 
Yeah, so um, yeah, maybe you saw a couple of email messages coming by just now. Um, I think you did. So uh, DocuSign automatically sends email notifications about what's happening. Nice. Yeah, I really like how you can make uh, signing legally binding documents part of the uh, customer experience in a very native way. That's awesome. So I, I assume you use a lot of API calls on the water. Uh, do people need to build this from scratch? Yeah, so of course, um, uh, DocuSign has a really elaborate uh, library of APIs and uh, has a really, basically really good explanation of how to implement this, but it's quite some work and it's quite technical. Um, it took us quite some time to do this. And for that, we actually, uh, a couple of colleagues of ours, uh, Jody Bullen and Jake Roch, they created a connector module to uh, yeah, basically make it possible for people not to reinvent the wheel and make use of the stuff that we found out. Awesome. Well, of course, uh, we're going to make sure that there will be a link to the right App Store content, and we hope that this helps our customers in a paperless society. Thank you very much, and stay at home. No problem. Will do. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.